welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. In this week's video, we are leaving beautiful Petaluma, California and heading across the state to Sacramento, the state capital. Everyone's told us when you go to Sacramento, you've got to visit the California Railroad Museum. So that's what we're gonna do. Hi everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyr's Travels. And this week we're coming to you from Woodland, California, which is about 10 miles west of Sacramento. And we're staying at the county fairgrounds in Woodland. It's really just basically a gravel parking lot, but there is full hookups and I would say room for what? 25 to 30? I'd say almost 50 RVs. 50 rigs. 50 rigs. You're all kind of tight together. Like I said, it's a, it feels like you're overnighting in a truck stop. Right. They right. have these bright lights on at night that, you know, you need to draw your blinds and everything to sleep. Right. But it served its purpose. We basically used it as, you know, just a place to camp and stay the night while we looked around the area. Yeah, it's about the cheapest camping we've found in California since we've been here. It's $35 a night, um, no extra fees for dogs or anything like that. It's an urban area. We're out next to a kind of busy road during the day, but it quiets down at night. All right. It's a residential area. Yep. So close to stores and other amenities that you may need. Yeah. I mean, it, like Diane said, it served its purpose. something you got to tell everybody yeah we're going to take a quick commercial break here because if you're going to the airstream rally in freiburg maine which is just over two three weeks from now right there will be a content creators meet and greet on tuesday july 26 at 5 30 p.m at Saco brewing you'll meet us zephyr travels will be there one of the local area of the airstream the i think the airstream extreme heads a whole all, bunch of people all sorts of fun stuff and there'll be raffles and it should be a nice meet and greet. So make sure you put that on your calendar for the Freiburg Rally. Right. Be there if you're going to be at Freiburg. But in our purpose for us is we wanted to get into Sacramento to check out the California Railroad Museum and Sacramento Old Town which we did yesterday, and we will show you some video of that right now. Today we're outside the California Railroad Museum. We're going to head in there and check it out. This is one of the top uh, railroad museums in the country, and it's a place a lot of people told us we needed to visit when we were in California, in the Sacramento area. So come on along. Let's go.
we just finished our tour of the California Railroad Museum. I really enjoyed it. What did you think? Yeah, it was really nice. Um, a lot of a lot of things on display, old trains, the history of how the railroad was built. Yeah, and you can go in some of the train cars and some of the engines. And, and like Diane said, you get to hear the history about how the tracks were built through the mountains, through the Sierra uh, Nevada mountains, and how at the time that I thought that was practically impossible, but you know they did it, and they had to lay how many, like ten miles of track a day or something? Something like that. Yeah. yeah, it was really, really an accomplishment, and you know it was thankful to a lot of the Chinese Americans or the Chinese Chinese immigrants. Chinese immigrants who came over here to build the train tracks, you know, for work. That they were looking for work, and this was available work for them. Sadly, you also learn how poorly we treated those people working here, but, you know, it's just an, it's such an accomplishment. And, you know, you learn how the railroads pulled the country together after the Civil War and probably prevented the country from having an additional Civil Wars. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as we did going there. It was really a great museum and, you know, something we kind of look forward to. And a lot of people told us that it was worth checking out if you're in this area. It's one of the better train museums that we've been to, and I could relate to it a little bit more. There was an exhibit about railroad engineers, and I don't know if I mentioned that before, but my father was a railroad engineer or worked on the railroad for over 50 years. And so, yeah, so we have uh, that background that we kind of draw back on when we check out these places. And we also spent a short amount of time in Old Sacramento, which is right next to the Railroad Museum. It again is a light, a lot of the other old towns that we have visited. Restaurants, novelty shops, they have candy stores, ice cream stores, you know, um, and uh, not antique stores, but um, souvenir stores. Yeah. So, yeah, we spent probably not a lot of time. We spent more time in the museum. So I would allow yourself in the museum three hours, maybe more, depending yeah. on, you know, what your interest is. Right. And if you're going with, with grandchildren or, or children, obviously three hours might be a, a stretch for them. But they do have a uh, child or a children play area right. up on the second floor. Right. And they have a lot of model trains up on the second floor. So that was kind of neat. Right. And it is, it's a worthwhile place to visit. So tomorrow we leave this area and head to our next destination. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a travel day. We'll be on the road for a good part of the day. We're going to try to put some miles. We're actually leaving California um, after about two months. And we are heading, actually almost three months. Okay. And we are heading back towards Arizona, but we're not getting to Arizona right yet. We've got some places in mind that you're going to have to wait and see the next video to, to check out. But until then, what should they do? If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels, and give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, and make sure to hit that bell for notifications. We post videos on a weekly basis, and we'd just love to have you follow along on our journeys. So until next time, we will see everyone down the road. See you guys. Take care. Bye. What do you always say? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you finished That's it. That's how we get the bloopers at the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, he throws it to me all the time, and I'm like, what? What? This week we're coming to you from Woodland, California, which is about 10 miles west of Sacramento. And, and, go ahead. Okay.